Mike is back in the van. Tables and everything else. I've got a connector to hook in the oil pressure gauge. The nylon one leaked. I wanted to go for a manual gauge rather than an electric one because it just gives me more of an instant reading. So we're just getting the AFRs calibrated, getting the idle pulled up a bit because it's a tad low. And I'm going to drive off now to get some fuel, get some V-power in there. Or nitro as it's called now. So I put the camera up on a dash. Well done, Mickey. That's sweet. Look it up, yeah. That's 11.5, yeah, that's better. Mikey the hero, mm. we are idling without cutting out of junctions now, which is a big, big plus. AFRs are much healthier, timing's good, so just got to do a few bits and pieces now. Need to get the brakes sorted because my front right is binding like mad, so there we go. are now on just needs lowering now lowered 60 mil all round nice height without losing too much drivability sat nicely in the arch now much better I've got the VR6 brake calipers and I've got some Brembo 313 millimeter discs. Much beefier. Get some brake caliper paint on them. We've got brake cleaner, paint, and a brush. Ideal. Standard discs are just a solid one piece disc. Undo it a little bit there, HW6. Undo that, get the disc off and uh, see what we got. Brembo discs, 104-44095As. They are the 313 millimeter disc. You can see there it just says transporter. So there they are side by side, big size difference. I've got the solid one off now. That's the new one. You can really see the size difference. It's vented. The caliper's much beefier as well. And now I've got to drill out an 18 millimeter hole. Got the 18 millimeter reduced shank drill bit to make way for the bigger bolts. We need to get a reduced shank one because the hole in the top here will only just fit the reduced shank so it does mean I can get the 18 millimeter drill bit in but you can see there the size difference between the two discs now I've also noticed that the hoses here are pretty knackered we've got we've got some wear on the brake line here where it's been rubbing on the tire and we've also got quite a bit of wear at the top of the flexi here so I'm going to cut that off stick a bolt in it and I'm going to get new good ridge lines for this here So as you can see, it's a decent size bigger than what was on there before. Get some pads on there now and some good ridge lines and we're good to go. So there you go, you can see a bit of red in there now. 